My wife is pregnant by a one night stand. So my wife and I have been married for 10 years and have two kids together. Today she broke the news that she is pregnant due to a one night stand and doesn't have any contact info for the father. And she wants to make our marriage work. I don't know how to get over the fact that she cheated on me was it truly just a one time thing or pattern of behavior my brain has exploded with this info even if I could find myself to get over what happened. She's pregnant with another person's child how do I even begun to deal with this. I'm so lost so hurt I feel like I'm spiraling down the rabbit hole. First get yourself checked for STDs. Then ask yourself if it was a one night stand then why did she have unprotected sx? Your next step should be to a lawyer and find out your options. This sucks and I'm sorry this has happened to you. As scary as it sounds, I also be getting paternity tests for the other kids. Not like you will be abandoning them, just more sheet to add to the divorce. My WH's uncle went through this. He stayed with the mom and raised the child until his own child came of age. Then he divorced her. He really couldn't take the mental anguish that she had brought on with the affair. And the child who he had raised like he was the father, really fell apart after the father left. So two people in the process were desperately hurt because of the mother's betrayal and because the father tried to do the right thing. It's okay to leave and not mess this child up. Your wife did a terrible thing and now she needs to face the consequences of those actions. But the child shouldn't face it. And for you it's going to be near impossible not to look at that child and be reminded every day that it is not yours. It will just seal the wounds open permanently. So even if you don't want to leave because you're still questioning if you still love her, do it for the child's sake. He or she will be better off not having a false father for X number of years than you finally caving and saying this can't work. Bail. Bail immediately, don't pay for wife's mistake and raise some other dude's spawn. Nope. Just no. Don't do it, man. Divorce, make it clear that child support is for your children, and make all that happen before she gives birth to another man's baby. I feel bad for the child, but this is something your soon-to-be ex needs to sort out. Unprotected SX with a ONS. Why she's bold and is likely a serial cheater. Like who does that in 2021? To me that indicates that this is a behavior that she's comfortable with. That would be bad enough if she was single but she put you at risk too. Now she wants you to parent her offspring? You need time to get your head together before you make any decisions. I can't get over that. Whether it was a ONS or not unprotected SX and on top of that not even attempting to not get pregnant? Like what? Just so disrespectful and sad. I'm so sorry OP no one deserves this, I hope you can find peace. No doubt she wants it to work. Who's going to provide for that man's baby? You need to give her the boot ASAP and do absolutely nothing that could be construed as a fatherly duty with regards to her and her affair baby. You need to talk to an attorney ASAP. He or she may recommend a divorce prior to birth and a DNA test to prove the child isn't yours. You do not want to have any kind of legal ties to this child. Obviously there are options. One of them terminating the pregnancy and the other going full term and giving the child up for adoption. Just because your wife got screwed doesn't mean that you should also get screwed. She had unprotected SX with a ONS while you were home with the kids. Of course she wants you to stay. What decent guy wants to make a life with a cheater with three small kids? You stay home and eat daddy while she's out at the club. Depending on where you are, you may have solid grounds for custody if that's what you want but I'd make a big production of having the older kids DNA tested. Her knowing just how little you trust her will take her down a notch or two. Reconciliation is rare and hard. It's hard enough blocking the image of him screwing her. But seeing him in the face of the baby is not fair to you or the baby. Cut your losses bro. Reconciliation is harder than leaving her. I am not talking having a AP's baby in the mix, and having to raise another man's child, 
or having a daily physical reminder of your wife's betrayal. Just simple reconciliation. If it is done properly, it is the hardest work you both will ever go through. Now, top off that hardest work you both will ever go through with another man's child. You are going to have to do you, but man, don't ever raise another man's child. I recommend that you get out, that you don't sign the birth certificate, that you get paternity tests on your other two children, STD test, and file for divorce. Reconciliation is hard enough under the best of circumstances. Yours isn't the best of circumstances. Lawyer up now. I second this. Reconciliation is difficult on its own. It takes a completely willing cheater who is willing to do anything and everything and a completely receptive betrayed partner, and even then it's not guaranteed. Most cheaters won't do anywhere close to what's necessary thereby guaranteeing a false reconciliation and further pain for the betrayed. Stack on that a daily reminder of the betrayal and I think it's too much. Of course she wants to reconcile. She wants you to pay for, and raise, her a fair child. How else is she is she going to take care of the baby? How are you ever going to trust her again? She not only cheated, she didn't use protection. She put you at risk for disease, assuming you slept with her again, and got pregnant. You haven't been getting laid, but she has. This would be very hard for any man to get over. The choice is yours, but I would not be able to forgive this. Nope, 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 nope. Don't put yourself through this sheet. She cheated on maybe many times and this the first time she can't lie slash get away with this. Until now you doesn't even know she had a ONS and you might doesn't even what else she did your whole marriage. Plaza take an STD test and paternity test for your kids. And divorce her before she hook you up on child support for another man's baby. From what you tell us, her story is utterly ridiculous. While it's possible, it's unlikely that a one night stand would result in pregnancy. She is hiding a much larger story from you. Everything she says is probably a lie. Until you get the full truth, I would start the divorce process. Consult a lawyer immediately regarding establishing that the child is not yours.